and off the set. Now, one day, uh, director Bill Wellman uh, heard some strange sounds coming from out in the sound stage, and knowing Carol Lombard's reputation, he figured that she must have been up to something. And in case you didn't know, Carol Lombard was really famous for her practical jokes and crazy stunts. We've talked about a few of them. Uh, a little innocent girl like you see here on your screen was really capable of some peculiar things. Uh, the phrase, nothing sacred, the name of this movie, could really sum up her philosophy of life in general. But Bill Wellman could not figure out what these noises could possibly be. It was a sort of a ka-ching, ka-ching, followed by the sound of glass breaking and applause and laughter all over the place. So Bill Wellman was absolutely right. It was Carol Lombard. And it seems that the day before, she got into some kind of a small discussion with some of the crew members, which led to a bet that involved the entire crew. Carol Lombard brought in an air pistol and proceeded to prove that she could shoot out every light bulb on the set without missing once. Electricians and the set designers and the prop people and the assistants, everybody put his or her money down on the outcome, and all of those who backed Carol Lombard won the bet. Now, there was one bet, on the other hand, that producer David O. Selznick covered when he decided to make nothing sacred. It was a sure thing that this picture would be an absolute smash. He had just finished uh, producing A Star Is Born, which was directed by Bill Wellman and starred Frederick March. And that film was a big hit, so Selznick assembled the same team for Nothing Sacred. To make doubly sure, he went all out and he shot the film in color using the new, improved, but still very expensive process known as Technicolor. Do you remember that when we were kids? We'd go out and see a Technicolor movie. The picture made a ton of money, but how could it miss? With Carol Lombard and Frederick March, here they both are in Nothing Sacred. Nothing Sacred was one of the top screwball comedies of the 1930s. I laugh every time I see it. It was written by a former newspaper man, Ben Hecht, who also wrote the Broadway stage hit, The Front Page. What a great one that was. I've had the pleasure of being in that. It was a natural uh, that an enterprising reporter uh, be the lead character. Now, true to traditional Hollywood thinking, success began to uh, lay remake. They always did that. Ben Hecht, along with songwriters Julie Stein and Bob Hilliard, adapted Nothing Sacred, and created a Broadway musical that was titled Hazel Flag. Do you remember that? Uh, the name of Carol Lombard's character, of course. In 1954, Paramount needed a vehicle for the comedy team of Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis, and guess what? That musical became the movie Living It Up. Now, the sex of the characters, of course, had to change. Jerry Lewis had the uh, Carol Lombard role, and Janet Leigh played. American movie classic.